What's up? It's time for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 17. Now, I know that um, there has been some talk because um, MAPPA uh, aren't great at treating their employees, right? And uh, some of the animators are getting quite fed up with it, understandably so. So I know that there's like been some rumors and some talk that perhaps something, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen might go on hiatus or something. You know, it's kind of up in the air right now. I'm not sure exactly what's been confirmed. I've actually been trying to keep away from the news because I also have been trying to keep away from spoilers from the show as best I can. Um, but if it does happen that, like, this show goes on hiatus or whatever, like, I don't think too much will change from me. I, I won't actually be too angry because it would be going on hiatus for a good reason, I would imagine, which is that, you know, they're, uh, mistreating their employees. <laughs> so I'd rather the employees, you know, get a good livelihood and... Um, and, you know, make sure that they're not tortured for this damn show. Um, I really wish Anime Studios would, and this is a crazy idea, um, make the show before starting to air it. I wish that was the, the way they did things, you know? Like, either almost finish the show or finish the show, and then, you know, then they can relax while the show's on, you know? Or slowly and calmly work on another show. Instead of, like, rushing so that they're trying to meet the deadlines really quickly and stuff. It's it's crazy, man. Um, anyway, uh, enough about that. I'm not, it's, I'm not the right person to speak on work conditions for this stuff. Um, I just uh, hope the animators are doing well. The animators have been doing a kick-ass job at this... Um, at this show, like regardless of how, you know, how horrible Mapper has been, um, the animators like are incredible and I wish them all the best. So let's get into Jujutsu Kaisen. It's hard to say though that I am excited because I am still excited. I still love this show. I, and I think the animators would understand that I, that I love this show. Um, so I'm still excited for this episode. Let's see uh, what they're cooking with. Let's jump into it. Here we go. This is Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, and uh, my full, the full length reactions on my Patreon account in the description below. So if you want to check out that, go down there. Anyway, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 17, starting now. Yuji. Oh, this is the grandpa? Right? This was Episode 1. I forgot about this. Oh, what a cut. <laughs> Cutting right to Sukuna. That's a cool concept. Wait, there's no intro today? Oh my gosh. Oh no, fuck off. I can't believe this dude gets fucked up by Nanami and is still waltzing around. This feels like a movie right now. Okay. Juju Kai powers are so confusing sometimes. <laughs> I'm admi admittedly a little lost on what he's talking about with the Shikigami. Okay. So he's going to summon Shikigami even though he doesn't control them? Is that what he's saying? Oh shit! Damn. Cool. Oh. <laughs> well, we know Sukuna loves Megami. Or is curious about him. What? Oh, is Sukuna gonna go watch? That would be cool. <laughs> Great. Is Sukuna gonna watch Megami? That would be pretty sick. Oh my god. This episode's so artistic. Oh my gosh! Eight grip sword. Mahoraga. What the fuck is it? What is this? Are you gonna die from this, Megami? <laughs> oh my... Oh! Holy shit, Megami! No way. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. 
A miracle is released. Oh, so he used, he's got like luck stored up? Whoa. And Sukuna saved him and that was his miracle. Oh shit. Oh, Sukuna's keeping him alive. Oh my god. Okay, I think I get what Megami was saying at the start of the episode. There's no way we're halfway through. Well, you know, almost there. <laughs> I guess it was a little bit of an early mid card. I think after seeing all of this, I, I'm following now what Megami was saying. Oh shit, man! The idea that Sukuna can't just annihilate this guy instantly, though, shows how strong he is. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. Whoa! He caught himself with one hand on the building. That's sick. Oh my god, Sukuna. Holy shit, man. This is insane. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, they're gum gum gatling each other. Oh. Oh, he just crumbled the car by grabbing it casually. Oh, he almost fell apart. This has got to be so scary. Like, these people would think it's the end of the world <laughs> with all this shit going on. Some of which they can't even see, you know, because they're cursed spirits. Oh my god! Buildings are being thrown into the air! Look at the shot, man! <laughs> That's sick! Oh my- He hit it! That's awesome. You gotta make a mouth anywhere on your body and using it to bite a blade before it cuts you. Oh my god, dude. It's kind of nice being able to like fully root for Sukuna here because like him winning helps us right here. <laughs> oh my god, that we just watched a guy die. Oh shit, his expression there. Whoa! This whole episode's like a weird, either like incredibly artistic movie or like tr trailer for a mobile game. You know those really cool trailers for mobile games? Oh my God. Holy shit, whoa! God. Oh. Uh, there's too much to look at. It's like epic, but also horrifying. The amount of like carnage. And that neither of these parties care how much damage they deal, you know? Oh. Jeez, man! What the? Look at this! These visuals! Uh -huh. Okay, it's an adaptable Shikigami. <laughs> he still loves Megami. Oh, yes! I think his domain was one of the coolest ones. Okay. Yeah, what the fuck? Damn. <laughs> That's nice of him. Oh! Ha! Oh! What? 
So did Tsukuna also just murder a whole lot of people? I don't doubt he wouldn't care. <laughs> oh! There's so much carnage, it's hard to tell what's even being destroyed anymore. Is he... Is he Yuji again? Doesn't look like a Tsukuna. No, I... He was walking with his hands in his pockets, I think he's Tsukuna. <laughs> Yeah, he's still seeking out. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> and Yuji's about to take over again by the sounds of it. And Sukuna delivered him back? Oh. Oh, shit! Yuji's back! It was cool having Tsukuna, but I'm glad Yuji's back. But there's so much... Okay, that's what we saw. There's so much destruction. He caused all of this. Oh, God. Oh, and he remembers it all? Did he experience it? Oh, fuck, man. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow! What a time to drop the OP song! Oh my god. It's just like a hole in the city. Oh my god. Oh! That's horrifying. And having it be black and white except for the red. Oh! Oh my god! Is this Nanami? He's... He's alive? Barely? Holy shit! He's like fucking Gus Fring! Well, he's more like Two-Face, I guess. Jeez, man! That was kind of an insane episode. I mean, just... It was basically just an insane battle with... Uh... With just pure carnage the entire time. Um, pretty horrifying. Like, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a great combination of hype and a, watching something horrific happening, you know? Um, I really enjoy it. <laughs> um, I also, I mean, like, real, realistically, knowing my own, um, enjoyment of stuff, like, my favorite stuff in shows like this are, uh, the characters and, like, seeing their, you know, their relationships to one another and, like, and like not as much the um the like the sasuga i guess uh not that that's not something that i love in the show i do absolutely love it but um but obviously like this this sort of episode is like really 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 cool as a once-off if every episode was i mean like both this episode and the last episode have kind of been a lot of that like just pure like just pure crazy insane action which is great but i also like like little bits of other stuff going on um like you know cutting back to you know interesting conversations that are happening or or furthering people's character development but um but you know what this episode kind of like because this episode happened i imagine we're gonna get some really great of that stuff uh, coming soon. I mean, we even got some at the end there with Yuji just staring at the utter destruction that he, I think, remembers. Like, he, it, there were all those flashes. I think it all flowed into him. He remembered everything that, that Sukuna did with his body. It's, and it was, so it's basically like as if he did it. He basically did all of that, you know? Um, now, he shouldn't let it get him too down. Like, it's not really his fault. Although, you know, I mean, it's not his fault. But um, with that being said, like, what might be going through his mind is, like, the higher-ups wanted to execute him so that this couldn't happen. And, like, obviously, he's fighting for his life. He's trying to make sure he's not getting executed. And now, you know, Sukuna takes over his body and does all of this. Now... 
obviously, if Sukuna didn't do this, uh, Megami would have died. Um, and that's it, right? It, like, I think what the case was, was he summons Mahodaga. Okay, look, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to summarize what I, th I think they actually said. So, um, so a Shikigami user can, like, use the, the creatures or whatever, um, but to do that, they have to sort of summon them and then fight and defeat them, right? And then if they defeat them, um, then they, uh, successfully have, like, tamed them, I guess, and can summon them to fight for them in the future. So, um, that's something that you can do. Now, I think what he said was you can do it in a group, like, you can summon them and then fight the... Um, monster as a group and then you know you, you're not necessarily the one to defeat him but if you do that then the creature just goes away and you can't and you can't like summon them to fight for you so you have to defeat if you want them to fight for you you have to defeat them on your own or I'm not sure if it's you have to defeat them on your own or you have to be the one to defeat them because those are the different things like could you could Megami have just come in and given the final blow and still gotten it I doubt it I imagine I imagine it's like if other people are helping you out at all, then um, then you cannot tame this creature. Um, so with that being said, because that's the case, um, Megami summons this Shikigami, which is, I imagine, the strongest one, the Maharaga, and, um, and nobody's been able to tame this creature ever. So... Uh, so this creature appears and there's two outcomes. One, or I guess there's three outcomes. Outcome one, uh, Megami is able to defeat it and then Megami tames it. Outcome two, the Maharaga kills Megami, Megami's dead and Maharaga disappears. Or outcome three, an outsider kills Maharaga, Megami's still alive but Maharaga goes away, right? I, I think those are the three outcomes. So Sukuna came in and he said, well, I don't want Yuji, uh, not Yuji, I don't want Megami to die because he's too interesting and I, I, I enjoy him. So um, I am going to keep him alive, which means I, as an outsider, have to defeat this creature. Um, I think that's what happened. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on all of that. I think I did a pretty good job. Like, I, I really wasn't following what he was saying at the start there, but once I started to see it play out, I was like, oh, I think I get what's going on. So feel free to correct me there if I am wrong. Um, uh, so yeah, this Shikigami is like an adaptable Shikigami. It can, it can, uh, adapt to its, like, to what's going on. So it's basically like Taskmaster in Mar the Marvel comics or whatever. Um, where, like, basically, you know, y you fight him, he gathers data on you, and then he he fixes his weaknesses and, and comes back at you again. So, like, the first time you fight him, maybe he's not that strong necessarily, but he learns from his mistakes, and you can never defeat him the same way twice. Um, now, this, the difference is, Maharaga seems like he starts incredibly strong, um, but he but he continuously adapts as the battle goes on. So the only way for Sukuna to defeat him would be to use his most powerful technique and kill him instantly with the first use of that technique. Because if you don't kill him instantly, he's just going to regenerate and he will never fall for that technique again. So um, really, really interesting and crazy. And so, I mean, Sukuna kind of couldn't hold back, but also... Um, like he I I doubt he cared too much and I think I think what happened is we saw a lot of people die because of what he did like that is insane um I also really like the so the the guy with the hand sword I think he's just straight up dead now which I'm happy with he's a scumbag um but his power so now now let's see if I understand this correctly he's got these markings under his eye and the markings like build up um, build up energy, so he loses, I think it said, he loses memories of all the little miracles throughout his days, um, so I guess it's just like the, you know, like nice good things that happen to him throughout his days, he doesn't remember the good things that happened to him, but, 
they store up in under his eyes. And then if he's faced with a life-threatening situation, he uses up um, some of that power to get luck, basically, and stay alive. And so that uh, explains how he survived against Nanami fucking destroying him, is he was lucky. He used up some of his miracles, and he used up most of it there, and then used up the last little bit he had to save him from Maharaga um, when Sukuna swept in. Really cool idea for a power. I love that. There, there's such creative powers in the show. It's so cool. Um, and I like that he doesn't even know how it works. Like, it's just, you know, he it's, it's just luck for him. Like, it just happens. But the narrator knows how it works and will explain it to us. It's great. Anyway, that's Jujutsu Kaisen. What a crazy episode. Season 2, episode 17. Hope you enjoyed it. Support my video if you did. Uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And my Patreon account is in the description below. That has full-length early access and exclusive videos. I hope you enjoy that as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.